Every year I have the students from the Key Club at Mifflin sleep outside for a night just to make people aware of homelessness, to get an education with homelessness and get a feel for what it's like. So they come to school this morning, they bring all their belongings, they brought some cardboard boxes also. They stay in school all day, right at the end of school, they meet with me, I confiscate their cell phones and any other personal belongings of creature comforts of home. And then they start setting up their shelters at the, as they've done in this parking lot here. A lot of people who have done it before, they sort of know the ropes of how to set up their houses, what works, what doesn't work, um, what's worked for them in the past. So, And they're going to be here through tonight, through the night, wake up in the morning and go to school the next day. And at the end of school, they get to, they have to go home. I'm just worried mostly about school tomorrow. It's not going to be easy after sleeping outside in a box to go through all my classes the next day. Tonight it's going to be probably about 30 degrees, winds up to about 25 miles an hour with rain up through midnight probably. It's going to start any hour up and through midnight, so kids will deal with it. Well, this is going to be our little roof. We're going to kind of raise this up and then we're going to have another box right here. So it would be open. We're going to cut the side open. So this will all be open. So we're going to put tarp on the top. As much as people may think it's crazy, it's just a fun experience. And I enjoy being outdoors, even with the hard weather. It's just fun to do. I mean, it's like a little kid building a fort. Now we're trying to make a porch. So <laughs> it's going to work. You know, you can sit outside and just watch everything. We talked about the stereotypes of homelessness, anything from drug addict and alcoholic to sex offender, mental illness. And then we talked about some of the other reasons for homelessness, whether it's the economy, family situations, domestic abuse, loss of jobs. And each student has a different title. They're wearing a name tag. And they have to play that part and they get certain amenities based on that situation. It's not gonna be a fun night, but I think it'll definitely be an eye opener. These are coupons. The kids get different coupons for different things throughout the evening, whether it's for a meal, for a snack, for a bonus, maybe a phone call. So they get some get more than others. Things like a snack coupon, supper, breakfast, hot chocolate, and you know what? That's about it. That's about it for yeah, our breakfast, class. Breakfast, breakfast, snack, supper, hot chocolate. This is as close experience as the real thing that we can give the kids and hopefully none of them will have to go through it, but we'll talk about homelessness and the causes of it, the conditions, and what goes along with it as, long as, as well as the expectations and how people view it. So we're going to spend some time tonight talking about homelessness and hopefully they'll go to school tomorrow with a little bit better awareness and also be able to answer questions their friends and the teachers have. The students have already started asking, why are you doing this? Are you crazy for doing this? And tomorrow, they'll be able to answer some of those questions and maybe garner more support, more discussion on the issue of homelessness. That it's not just some crazy person or somebody on drugs who's running around without a home, but sometimes it's out of people's control. So it's going to raise awareness there and it may even spur some students to be involved maybe with a local shelter or soup kitchen. Key Club here also does volunteer work in the community with homelessness, with soup kitchens, with children with a variety of issues, so this kind of falls in line with what we've been doing. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Tell us again. How was it, Sarah? Amber, what do you think? My face is cold, that's what it is. What do you think, guys? How was it, Katie? Why? My hands are cold. Why not? Good. Good experience. What do you think, Lauren? It was pretty warm. Didn't want to get up. <laughs> Don't say love. Oh. Like, I always said it. Like